When Dean and Vanessa pledged their faithfulness and loyalty, they pledged to death do us part. But what Dean and Vanessa didn't understand is that love and pain are partners in marriage. Vanessa and I, the old kind of choir story. So um, she joined the church uh, and joined the choir and she needed a robe and I was in charge of the robes at the time. So I called her and, um, you know, asked her her size. Um, but actually that's not the first time we kind of had an encounter because she actually heard me at a concert and uh, <laughs> fell in love with my voice. <laughs> so she actually heard me at a concert. I was laughing and joking. And um, she uh, perked up and said, hey, you know, who's, who's that? And um, so the, the, after the concert was over, a couple uh, months later, she came to church with her friend and um, heard me again. And uh, then she scared the heck out of me because she told me, uh, my friend, oh, I'm going to marry him. God told me I'm going to marry him. And I'm like, well, God didn't tell me nothing. <laughs> I mean, we had a, we had a real good um, marriage. Um, early years were really good. Um, I was working as a um, school teacher. Um, and she was actually an office manager for a professional cleaning company. I wanted to, you know, be together four years before we had our first child, and God said, no, one year's enough. So we had Shayla after our first year, and uh, then two years later we had Andrew. Uh, then, you know, God, you know, with the boy, so here comes Shane five years later, uh, and then two years later Nicole was born. The one thing I like about Vanessa, she was never even if you uh, um, uh, made her mad, she would never hold a grudge. She was always forgiving. Matter of fact, too forgiving. I, I actually learned a lot from her in that regard because she, you know, family would get on her nerves and she'd be right back with them. Marriage is great, but you gotta understand that marriage and pain and love and pain are associated with one another. You can't have love and not have pain. And if you don't make the changes and change with your marriage, you won't stay married long. In the fall of 2000, my wife got in the, um, two major car accidents. Um, and the accidents led to an 18 year opioid dependency. And, you know, at first we didn't know what to do. We didn't understand really what it meant. And, um, you know, you don't really understand that, you know, sending a person to a doctor or to a clinic could be, could be causing them more problems. Well, one of the things they would do, uh, you know, she would get irritable, she would go through mood swings, she would be depressed. The stress of her issues were enormous. And, and how do you help someone who's struggling like she did? So, um, I remember one, her, one time she said to me, uh, you know, honey, we've been through more in uh, these 10 years than most people go through in their entire life. And, you know, one day we're gonna write a book about it. Um, so I don't ever want you to give up on your dreams. So, you know, I mean, even in that, she was still being encouraging to me. So um, that's who she was. 